when to dribble penetrate, and what to do without the ball. That's two different things. Hello, I'm Rick Torbett with Better Basketball. Answering these two questions allows me to address a misconception about the read and react offense. Believe it or not, when to dribble penetrate is in the first layer called pass and cut. We pass and cut to score, of course, but we also pass and cut to create space to drive. This allows you to take a different tactic when it comes to driving. We let the offense create space and then teach our players to attack space by driving, not create space by driving. Let me say it again. Drive to attack space, not to create space. That's a different tactic than what most players have been taught. Let the offense create the space. Use your drive to attack that space. So, inside the first layer is a video that gives players visual clues for when they should drive. Here is one of the four clues that say, drive, you've got a good chance of making it to the rim. A real estate drive is one where there's no chance of an immediate help defender. A good example of this is when the corner passes uphill and cuts. That creates real estate. The corner is empty. A good time to drive. Or the wing passes uphill and cuts. That leaves the whole side empty. That's real estate and you should drive it. The space has been created for you. You don't have to create it with your dribble. You simply attack it with your dribble. Now, compare that to layer four of the reader and act. It's titled, Driving to the Goal, Teammate Reactions. This is for the four teammates that don't have the ball. See, layer one teaches you when to drive. If you drive and draw defense, like this and you can't make it to the rim, layer four is your next action. The reaction rules of layer four moves players without the ball into the best passing windows. There are rules for perimeter players and post players and exceptions like the baseline drive. Here's one that will give you an open three point shot. If you are one spot away from the ball, like this player, and the ball drives away from you, the read and react rules will pull this player into this spot behind the ball. We call it the safety valve position. You'll find the complete set of reaction rules at betterbasketball.com in these courses, Read and React 2.0, the Read and React Player System, or the short course Drive, Draw, and Drop Dimes.